Hello guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, let's have a look on some of the tools here in the sculpting mode. So in the menu, you could be able to see uh, the tool called box trim, lasso trim. Uh, so let me just pick both of them. Just select, click and drag. And then you should be able to see uh, wherever the marquee was running. Um, that area is trimmed through the projection of my viewpoint. And then you should be able to see there is an angle because my, uh, my point of view is slightly higher than the cube's eye level. So whenever I do that, I get that view based trimming. And uh, you should also see there's a tool called a lasso trim where you could actually use this lasso tool to trim those model. Again, it is working the same way as we have uh, done for the box trim, that which is uh, view based. And um, we also have uh, this tool called box add. When we add that, it will add up a box uh, from my viewpoint. And then uh, you also have uh, lasso add I just drag and then you should be able to see I've got this one. Uh, you can't uh, do uh, the work without the basic model. Any model should be there. Let's say if uh, you are looking or uh, you're trying this model on a new scene with no object selected, then it doesn't work for you. Uh, let me just expand these tools here. And then if I just scroll down, uh, we have a box trim. Okay, you should be able to see that. And uh, we have uh, both options. One is uh, box and lasso. So you know box gives a box shape lasso is a freehand uh, tool so i'm just uh, uh, when i'm going into the settings here you have a couple of options let me uh, select uh, the default and then just uh, drag over the model you should be able to see i'm getting that trimming effect on uh, the model and uh, uh, the mode of the trimming is different okay uh, let me just uh, change this to the union and then draw it then you should be able to see you got a model which is now working like your uh, lasso add tool. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, the join tool here where I'm going to just uh, do the trimming again. Then you should be able to see you got a very similar effect. So we have these two options. One is the union and another one is the join. Um, the, the union tool is like a, your Boolean operation and uh, it's actually emerging the vertices where here it's not doing that. Uh, let's press uh, the wireframe mode and then able to see the difference here there's a cut over the model uh, wherever the intersection happened but on this side you don't see that difference so that's the major difference between the union and uh, the difference uh, tool uh, then we have a view and a surface so let me just go to the orthographic view here and then just uh, drag a, a shape and we should be able to see uh, i got this thick uh, you know extrusion over the model now let me just choose this to surface and then just, uh, just click and drag and then you should be able to see one thing that is uh, the model is uh, responding to the, the the surface if you could able to see there's a white point uh, and uh, the shape is orienting to that point and then you get that extrusion in that direction okay let me try same way but this time view and then you should be able to see the extrusion goes all the way from my viewpoint like that. Whereas when I put it to the surface, it's actually identifying the surface normal orientation and it's giving the result accordingly. Okay. Uh, we also have this cursor uh, for depth. So when I do that, okay, the model is going to give um, me on the point firstly, but you should be able to see there's a change in the thickness and uh, Let's say if I reduce the size of the brush and then do, then the thickness is smaller. When I'm increasing the brush size and then do, then the thickness of the model is different here. So that's something really important about this. Then we have extrude mode, which is a fixed and a projected. Okay. Uh, so if I generally uh, keep it to the fixed. So when I'm just uh, doing that with the fixed option, when I'm doing the result, you got uh, that orthogonal result there. Let me just change this to the project and then do the same thing. Then you get, uh, I'll just choose this to the view. And then when I do this, uh, you may get a tapered effect uh, because I mean, it's it, it works like a perspective projection. So something which is near is thin and uh, far is thick. It's, it's giving that tapered result uh, let me choose that to fixed uh, and then do the same angle and then just create the shape and then you don't get that tapering effect there 
okay let me just uh, change this cursor depth and then choose to the project again and then you should be able to see that tapering uh, result here okay uh, so we also can go to the modifier panel and then add uh, modifiers like a remesh modifier where you get this uh, combined effect of the model and uh, what type of um, you know the final uh, result after remeshing you want you have that you have a blocks method you have the smooth method you have the sharp you have the voxel method and every tab you can generally choose the way you want that result to be let's say if i am doing this now and now just draw the shape you get the result with that uh, remesher history working with the model so it is a great way to build things so let's say if i go to the new model there then choose this to sculpting more and then i'm going to choose this uh, lasso trim tool okay 